We analyze the nature of causality by using the theories of symbolic dynamics and attractor reconstruction, both of which refer to time series. Time series are measurements of dynamic phenomena as they evolve over time. Take, for example, X, Y, and Z, which could represent species populations, stock prices, or bodily function measurements. According to symbolic dynamics theory, we can represent each time series through patterns that account for one step ahead percentage changes. Moreover, we can allow each pattern to be weighted according to the very percentage change that takes place. Thus here, bigger changes are represented by bigger patterns. As we increase the dimension of successive percentage changes, symbolic dynamics theory allows us to consider even more complex patterns. In a similar manner, we can extract the weighted versions of those patterns in order to account for each specific percentage change. The size of each pattern's component is analogous to its percentage change. Symbolic dynamics allow the patterns to expose the nature of causality. But first, we need to identify a valid causal relationship. To that end, we use attractor reconstruction theory, time series that belong to the same dynamical system, e.g. ecosystems, stock markets, or human body, are considered to be parts of the common attractor, which corresponds to the states of that system. Thus, M evolves in three dimensions, where each dimension corresponds to the X, Y, and Z values of the time series on the right. From a dynamical system's perspective, the time series X, Y, and Z are one-dimensional manifestations of the three-dimensional attractor M. Taken's theorem allows us to use lagged values of those one-dimensional manifestations to reconstruct a shadow version of the original attractor by using lagged values of a single time series, MX being the shadow attractor, reconstructed from time series X, is also a library of the past symbolic dynamics of X. The shadow attractor MX maintains the topology of the original attractor M and is essentially a one-to-one -one mapping from M to MX. If we also use time series Y to reconstruct another shadow version of the original attractor, we know that MY maps also one-to-one -to, -one to M. Therefore, MX and MY map one-to-one -one between themselves the same can hold also with MZ. If a causal relationship exists, then the nearest neighbors of each point on MY must correspond to nearest neighbors of each contemporaneous point on MX. Revealing the patterns of each nearest neighbor, we can then calculate the average pattern, or signature, of each neighborhood. Signature is the weighted average pattern of a current point's nearest neighbors, where the weight for each nearest neighbor's pattern is higher the closer it is to the current point. When signatures in MY accurately predict signatures in MX, then we can say that X left its markings on Y, and thus, causality is analogous to the prediction accuracy. However, the very correspondence of signatures is what eventually allows us to assess the nature of causality. This matrix describes the three types of causality that encompass all possible causal relationships. Positive causality corresponds to same pattern changes. Negative causality corresponds to opposite pattern changes. However, as shown in the matrix, there is a third case, which cannot be classified as positive or negative. Thus, we use the term dark causality to refer to signature couplings that are complex to interpret. We call our algorithm pattern causality, and it enables not only the identification, but also the quantification of the nature of causality, be it positive, negative, or even dark.